Hello and welcome. This is Sharp here, and we are. I'm 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 playing the deck that I was going. Uh, major work in progress. Um, this deck is a pure colorless deck. No other types, uh, just colorless. It is horrible up against fighting decks, but I have been able to beat them by mostly sheer luck. And the two key Pokemon, I at least I could call them the key Pokemon for this, is um, Haxorus and Bofalent. Now, for those who are wondering, like, but Haxorus isn't a ah, colorless Pokemon? Actually, yes. Before the Dragon Exalted in Noble Victory, they uh, made dragons as colorless, and even way before that, they did the same. Uh, what is this? Tynamo? Oh, I'll definitely take down a Tynamo. If I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna do a, um, actually, uh, you know what, since I can't do damage either way this turn, like, guaranteed, might as well just do that, and I'll do the end. Don't need to use that colorless, I really want to take down the, <clears throat> um, Tynamo as quick as possible. This did get me another energy, which is cool. Um, the great thing about this deck is it all works off of using, like, Asperger City Gym to make your Pokemon really bulky, and then just in generally doing pretty decent attacks, like, Bofalin, I know I've gone over this in other videos, but, um, Gold Breaker, 60 damage, yeah, it isn't much, but it's a decent amount of damage, and then if it's going up against EXs, 120, guaranteed two-hitting, uh, EX Pokemon, that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, this turn I'm going to do the Skyla for, um, I actually don't know what I should do the Skyla for. Um, I guess, uh, to be honest, I don't really need anything too big because I don't have Axew on the board, so I can't just go straight into, um... Haxorus with the rare candy. Um, so I get, you know what? I'm just gonna grab, where was it? Bicycle, just to get out of the deck. Um, next turn, I might be able to use it. And my turn, this tight, yeah, time mode goes down. He's gonna switch into probably the Eevee or, P or the Axu. Okay, that works too. Um, I get Fracture, which I run, um, a 4 3, uh, 4 1 4 line of, um, Haxorus just because. I never see the point of doing a, um, like, how the decks build it, really, on 4-3-2 or 4-3-1, or 3-2-1 at that point, keeping that ratio unless I don't have the cards, but on here, for the most part, I do, um, sometimes, but at this point, I'm just going to catch her out the Eevee, because the Jolteon could be a little scary. Gary, I don't know what Jolteon he's using, so that's where the scary factor comes in. And since I don't have four cards, can't use that bicycle, so I'm just going to go at the end and actually get a decent hand. Um, it may not seem like it is, but it sort of is. Um, hmm, I'll play that. I'm going to keep the Pokemon con uh, communications until next turn, see what I can draw into, really. But I'm just going to start piling on damage to the Eevee and continue working on... He does have this Raichu, which can be problemsome. Um, just because of the fact that one energy and it can start paralyzing, which... It, that's, it slows down my deck. Um, now, for those who don't realize, I am playing on Expert um, Player vs. Player Unlimited, but that's only because this deck is unlimited due to... Haxorus coming from Noble Victories. And this is actually a perfect card to be sending back to my deck for an Axew. Hopefully I won't top deck into that. Hopefully I can top deck into maybe... Okay, maybe I'll get the card. There we go. Um, top deck into a Rare Candy. And I actually have perfect amount of energy for it. Um, so that works out almost too well. And we take down the Eevee and... This is going pretty well. I'm going two prize straight. He's has yet to do any damage. I have 
almost two Pokemon set up for their biggest attacks, and they're the two best Pokemon in the deck. Okay, so he has Plasma Energy, which does prove he probably has um, the Jolteon in his deck, like a Plasma Jolteon. So he does 60 damage with the big attack, which I personally think... Wait, did I... Yeah, I did play it, so okay, whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna put this down on that and uh, do this. For some reason, I was blanking, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was like completely dumbfounded right then. I don't know why. I'm tired. But either way, uh, so we're almost really once we get rid of this um, Raichu, I I win. And even the potion was sort of unnecessary because. He has 60, uh, 60 health left, and since I do 60 damage, the only way he can actually get around this is if he does 60 damage with his attack. So he was lucky. Let's see, just maybe, can I get... Ah, oh, the Juniper is not my go-to card right now. Okay, um, let's do that. Play the Juniper and hope. Got the rare candy. Ah, oh, okay, um, we're gonna have to go for something else here, um, I'm gonna play the Fracture just to have a Fracture, he can possibly do more damage, um, I'm gonna put this in just in case anyone dies, I can use him as sacrificial anything, um, but what I need to do is take down this Raichu right now. He is a problematic card. Um, I only get 30 damage, putting him back up to 60. 30 more damage to take him down. Granted, I'm technically still in the lead. He has a better field, though, because his moves, if he just gets two heads, Fracture's gone. And none of my Pokemon can really do any big damage. That's actually like problematic to this. So, I'm really wondering how I'm going to get out of this. I need I need a Haxorus in this Fracture to live. If that can happen, I'm pretty good. Um, at that point, if you let's say he sent in anyone... Oh, yes! That somewhat bought me time. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Um, I don't want a Juniper because... how many? Do I have any of my rare candies in here? No, I don't, but I have a lot of my supporters. Uh, it's, it's very tempting, because either way, I can't do anything, so it's one of those like 50-50 sort of plays. Though I feel like the Zekrom's more of a problem, because once he gets that Bolt Strike, I'm he's doing 40 to himself plus 120 to my Pokemon. I'm going to take down the Zekrom real quick, or at least try to, while I get rid of those three, and top deck into really nothing, but I might be able to work off of this, do dual chop, get 30 damage down, he can only do 50 with his outrage right now, he can do the 120, puts down a total of one of oh, 70 damage after the pretty much recoil from bolt strike, yeah bolt strike, but I will lose my Fracture. So yeah, he's going to go for that. Um, so what I'll need to do is be able to inflict 60 damage next turn. And I'm not even sure if that's possible. Um, no, it isn't because I can't attack with this. So I might as well just go with this guy. He can put down 30. He can't retreat, is he? Oh, next turn he does 30 more, but he's going to be able to take it down. Um... Perfect, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to keep the Arduino just to try to heal up if there's some possible way I can survive. He has 40 health, so if he does do his 120, he's dead, but he can now just do Outrage and then just wait out his own death. Um, or just kill himself, because that's a thing. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. It equals out to the same amount. I actually did 120, not... Yeah. I, I didn't do the math right. 
Um, so I started out strong, but once he got big hitters that I can't take down real quick, it messes me up. Um, my best bet is just collect, draw a card, and don't really get anything. Awesome. Um, this guy's gone. He's he had yeah he has the hacksters. I want out. Um, it looks like his deck's pretty much that one deck you can get by putting in like a special code. Um, I think it's like boundaries crossed and something else. And you get two. Uh, you can get a deck, and it's it's a decent deck. Um, this is pretty much how I built this. Um, okay, so at this point, I'm at a loss. Uh, just put those two down, so I'm not guaranteed loss next turn. And I have to get rid of a lot of resources right now to even try to get something. Like, how many double colors have I gone through? One, two. Only two, and I don't know how many are in my deck, and nor how many would be in my prize. So this is just going to be blind faith, and let's hope for the best. And complete failure. So we can just do that, put down that. I do get the sleep. That actually could save me. That has a good chance of saving my ass, and with the end, I can end him to two. Okay. Ah, oh, he wakes up. Okay, so he's going to be end to one next turn because he's going to be able to do exactly a hundred... Oh, wait. I'm going to live with 20 HP. Uh, no, 10 HP. Because he took 10 extra damage. Uh, since he has 110 damage plus the... Yeah, I live with 10 HP because I take in... Oh, excuse me. I take in um, 130... But with my Bofer ability, makes it so then I only take 110. Thank God for that, right? Um, I'm just going to put that in play so I don't have as many cards going back to my deck. And hope for the best. That is not the best. Um, that is far from the best. I, I, I can't even use this. So, But next turn, this does go away, but this guy comes in. I am almost for certain on that. So, yeah. Um, I might as well just use Busybody just to heal off 10 HP. Uh, maybe somehow he survives. I know the Zekrom will go away, which it just did. And what do I get from the prize? Let's see. That is useless. <laughs> that is utterly useless. Um, I'm down to 8 cards. He's still at 27 in our deck count so I have a big chance of even decking out right now this did start pretty strong I actually felt like I was gonna win but then I stupidly let myself think that and this happened um, I'm still questioning why team plasma energy um, maybe I'm not seeing something I don't know but right now I am at a complete, like, I just need one energy. That's all I need. I don't believe I've gone through them all. That's the thing. Like, I have, what, I think it's 15 energy in the total deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I only have 7 in my steel and 4. That's only 11. Oh, wow, okay. Um. You know, sure. Why not? Let, let's just get the Haxorus out just to get it out. Just for the point of getting it out. End my turn, and... Ugh, I I just need one energy. I know most likely one's going to be in my prize. I feel like that's a guaranteed thing. But what's going to be in my deck? Um, I should have two more double colorless, which... And... Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so at this point... I just need my double colorless. I need one double colorless. You came a turn too early. You really did. Um, let's put that there and hope I can continuously stall him out for because he's not flipping two heads. Even one head's dangerous right now because that's 80 damage. And two heads will instant knockout on the Haxorus. Uh, this is when 
I went up against a card earlier today because I was, um, where was it? Was it in a random battle to get 10 tokens or was it, I want to say it was within uh, the trainer challenge, but um, it was just this random card. I can't remember what it was, but it did damage equal to the number of prize that I, no, number of energy that I had times like 10 or 20. And right now would be the perfect time. He has what? Three on him. Uh, three on him. Two on him. Yeah, two. Plus then those three. It was just perfect. 80 damage. Oh my god, this is not going in my favor. Um, it's. I can switch, but at that point, what do I do? I would have to sacrifice an energy to retreat out and then hope. So it's the same thing, just an extra turn added onto it, guaranteed. Maybe. Actually, it's just only a maybe, because if he does get two flips, that would be knocked out. This is knocked out if he gets one. Um, this is knocked out if he gets two. So, And he wins. So it was a good match. Um, I feel like it was close-ish. Like, it wasn't too far apart. Um, the Bofalint does do a lot of work in this deck. The Haxorus, if set up, does do a lot. Um, I'll probably be doing more of this deck, but not next week. Next week, if I can get a few more things, I'm planning to do something special, but I don't know. But this has been it. Thanks for watching, guys, and this is Bisharp signing out.